So we're here with Rafe, one of our full-time level one learners. Rafe's come to us, didn't quite get your GCSE the first time round in maths, Rafe, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, had a bit of a mare the first time round. But he's had the opportunity to resit his maths GCSE and he's taken the first resit possible in the course of the year. And what good news have we just had, Rafe? Um, I actually passed, I got a four. Fantastic. And I'm really happy with it. Absolutely crushed it. So Rafe's taken the opportunity to resit his GCSE maths with both hands. He understands that's going to help him pass his electrical qualification and you've crushed it, yeah? Well done, Rafe. Thanks. Well done. So I'm going to go over in a word and see what Callum's up to. Hello, Callum, mate, what are you up to? Hello. I'm just connecting my one way lighting circuit. Okay, one way line circuit, brilliant. Yeah. So, what size cable are you using? I'm using 1.5 meters squared. Okay, and is that solid or stranded? Uh, it's stranded because it's more flexible and it's easier to get through the plastic conduit. Good answer. The line conductor started in the consumer there on your left hand side, and where did you take it to? Uh, we took it to the switch and then we're taking it back up to the ceiling where it's. So, what method are you using to wire this lighting circuit? We're using the conduit loop method. Brilliant answer, good luck, mate. Okay, let's see who's next then. So, hello, Jacob. Hello guys, how are you doing? Good. What are you up to mate? I'm wiring a lighting circuit and conduit. Okay. What size is that cable you're using? 1.5 millimetre squared guys. Okay. What's the construction of the conductors in that cable? It's stranded, makes it much more flexible. Okay, that's a really good answer. Final question, what size will the overcurrent protection device, what size would the circuit breaker be for this circuit? Uh, six amps. Thank you very much. Okay, George. What are you up to mate? Uh, just doing some testing. Which test are you carrying out for me? Checking continuity of the CPC. Okay, which test we include at the same time? Check for polarity. Good, which test we carry out after that? The insulation resistance test. Okay, and what will you be putting in the polarity box when you've completed that test? A tick. Oh, let's try a hard one. What's R1 stand for? Resistance to the line. Well done, and R2? Resistance to the CPC. That leave you to get on then? Yeah. Okay, so we're back with you then, Rafe. You're having a great day, you? On camera again for the second time? Yeah. Uh, Rafe got his GCSE and what did you get in? Just remind uh, us. Maths. Let's celebrate that moment. You didn't get one at school, but you got one at college, yeah? You got your. Did you get a four? Yeah, I got a four. Got a four in maths. And we're going live. Is anyone else in the room with us apart from. Well, no. not your colleagues, aren't are they? No, it's no. just me because it's currently a break time and Rafe said, can I come in and go live with my job during my break? You've got an hour and a half break. So let's liven up the consumer unit then, Rafe. All right, so I've got to turn them on. Okay. Okay, so which test are we carrying out? Uh, functional. We're gonna do a functional yeah, test, sure okay. Work. Yeah, let's go around each socket and turn in and operate that switch as we go. Using the voltage indicator. Yeah, good, plug in voltage indicator. You're gonna operate the switch while you're there. Okay, brilliant. Okay. So we're gonna do it at every socket outlet on the circuit, is that true? Uh, yes. Good. So if we can do that reasonably quickly, because the people at home are watching this. GCSE in maths, Ray. <laughs> hey, a little four. Yep. You need that to be an apprentice as well, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So Otherwise, gonna, I would have had to do functional. Gonna leave it in and on on that one, aren't we? Mm -hmm. What other switches need to be proved for functionality? The ones in the actual circuit. Okay. So okay. So start off with the what's that? This is the uh, reset button. For which device? Uh, the RCCB. It is for the RCCB. How often should you press that? Uh, six months from for the regula uh, 18th edition regulations. And but what was it, it was three months. It was three months. Yeah. yeah. Quicker than me. Press the button now and see what happens. We look at our plug-in voltage indicator there. It's gone off. Yes. Okay. So let's reset it by pushing it back up. What other switch are you going to do as well? I'm also going to do this one. Okay. And so the circuit breaker has gone off as well. And then I'm going to flip it back Happy on. Happy with functional testing? Yeah. Well done, mate. What a day. Mate. 